Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of an example of a function f that satisfies all of the given conditions. We have the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x is equal to infinity, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the right of f of x is equal to infinity, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left of f of x is equal to negative infinity, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is equal to 0, the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to 0, and f of 0 equals 0. So drawing a general xy plane here, let's go one step at a time. As x approaches 2, the value of the function approaches infinity. So if x is equal to 2 is right here, what we can say is that we have a horizontal, or sorry, a vertical asymptote. And as we get closer and closer to this value, we have asymptotic behavior. The function is going off to infinity as we get closer and closer from both sides. Contrast that with x approaching negative 2, right, where we also have a, a vertical asymptote. However, the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left and the right are different. As we approach negative 2 from the right, that's from values greater than negative 2, so that's on this side of the line. The value of the function is going off to infinity, so we have to sort of connect this up, and we say, okay, it's going up to infinity. I'm leaving a little space in here because I looked ahead and I can see that f of 0 equals 0. So at 0, the value of the function is equal to 0. So we can do that. We don't even have to bother with connecting this all the way down. We can simply say that we have a gap in the function right there where it jumps down to 0 and then goes into the behavior, which we're familiar with. On the other side of this x is equal to negative 2 um, vertical asymptote, we're told that the limit as x approaches negative 2 from the left is equal to negative infinity. That means as we're getting closer and closer to this line, now from the other side, we're going off to negative infinity, as opposed to positive infinity. Our other two limits here, the only things we have left are the behavior of the function as x goes off to negative infinity and positive infinity. What does that actually mean? Well, for x is going off to negative infinity, that means as we go into this direction, the function is going to approach a value of 0. So that would look something like this, where, you know, maybe we're going up, but then it gets drawn back down and it gets closer and closer with never actually reaching a value of 0. And as we go in the other direction to infinity, it also approaches a value of 0 in a similar way. And with a horizontal asymptote, you can't actually cross the asymptote. All you have to do is approach this value over time. And this is just an example, it's not the only option, for a function which satisfies these given conditions.